Buckle Bunny Bachelor number four. Titus Jeans, riding Sophie Cated Nuts. I'm Montana Dana, and on today's episode of Girl vs. Van, I go on a father-daughter date, crack open a geode, and find a cowboy husband at the hometown rodeo. Subscribe for daily videos. Good morning, friends. It's my very last day in Livingston, Montana. I'm gonna travel up north and visit one of my very favorite people in the world. I'll introduce you later. The very last day of my dad's beautiful home here in Livingston. Ooh, it's gonna be a hot one today. Have you ever tried drawing on your eyebrows in a moving vehicle? So change of plans, we're heading to Virginia City, me and the pops. I don't even know what's in Virginia City, so. Too much fun, that's what's over okay. there. Okay, that sounds good. Candy shop. Oh, jeez. Okay, I have to wait for another stoplight. <laughs> Star restaurant and the owner's right there. Her son is a waiter. They're really like seem like good people. So if you're ever here, what is this town called? This is in Virginia City. Nevada City. We're in Nevada City. Good people. Where you're from? Nevada, Nevada. Nevada. Yeah. Thank you. We just went back in time. You need your cowboy hat. Marble. Yeah. Marble's back in fashion. Look at you with your lashes, girl. This is the train station? My first apartment was bigger than this place. Oh yeah, that is much better. Studley. Thank you. Studley. That's your cowboy name. Dudley Richard. Reminds me of um, Blazing Saddles. Is the name Hadley or something? Hadley, yeah. <laughs> it's Dudley. Howdy, partner. my husband in here. We had a really cute um, waiter at our table. I'm like, oh, he's a good, he's a good single young man. I'm like, I could be his mother. Literally probably 18 years younger than me. He's cute though. Is my husband in there? Where is he? So my Aunt Karen sometimes in the summer is in this vaudeville play. I want to come see her. How do you know which ones are the pretty ones? Maybe if it's really round, like this guy. The weight, the girth. This one has some cool colors in it already. Mm -hmm. My dad got me this geode and we're gonna crack it open later. Thanks, Pa. By we, I mean he. So I'm afraid to crack it open by myself. I mean, if I'm gonna eat candy, I'm gonna eat the real stuff. Are you up for I'm gonna bother. Or? Yeah, I want a piece of fudge. Once you said mint chocolate something, I was like, okay. Oh my gentle baby Willy Wonka Jesus. Look at all of this candy. Look at the gemstone my dad got me. It's so pretty, I love it. That's why I like getting gemstones because I'm gonna always look at this and be like, oh, that's when my dad and I went to Virginia City. How cute. <laughs> it's so precious. Well, it was a nice day for us. Yeah, this is a cute little town. And we got some chocolate, some minty chocolate, and then like a caramel fudge, fudgy something or other. So we need to figure out how to break this open. How do you break open a geode? I have to Google it. floating the Madison. That would be fun to do. We used to do that all the time. Yeah, if you guys ever come to Montana, Madison is a nice way to float the river without having white water rafting. It's just very chill. Bring a tube for your cooler. Oh, looks so fun. Oh, look what we got. A 
know. <laughs> Minty chocolate, and then there's a caramel something or other. Gonna crack open that geode. Gonna try a hammer and chisel type thing. I don't know which way to go. I'll do this one first. This one, I don't know which way to go. It's gonna be too skinny on if I go around the equator. break this way. I feel like it'll be prettier, but mm -hmm. it's not working. Oh. <gasps> oh Ooh. That's beautiful. Look at yeah. that. Oh, wow. That's even cool. Oh, wow. Didn't really split down the middle, but it's pretty. This way be easier. Bigger and more round, huh? This way or yeah, this I way? Yeah, I think that way. Pretty one. Yeah, it is. Wow, those are really pretty. They're way prettier than I thought they were going to be on the inside. I thought they were going to be a little bowl or something. So shiny. Yeah, those are cool. We're at that Livingston Rodeo. I got my buckle bunny outfit on. I'm going to go pick up, pick up some cowboys. Yeehaw. Yeehaw. Woo! All up off my hat. Freaking Winona. I think I bring the wind with me wherever I go. Always. But the wind tells me they shouldn't be doing no helicopter flying right now. I would not want to be in the helicopter right now. Can you guys help me look for wedding rings on these cowboys? We need cute butts and no wedding rings. That's what we need. Welcome to our 15th annual Buckle Bunny Bachelorette. Buckle Bunny Bachelor number one is Preston Sider. Riding his horse, Trojan Man. His balls are bruised, his back is broken, but he'll ride you bareback into the sunset. Buckle Bunny Bachelor number two is Ruben Johnson. He's from Climax, Michigan, riding his steed Spanky Midnight. He's hornier than a billy goat. He's friskier than a firecracker, but he'll always take you out to dinner before he bangs you. Buckle Bunny Bachelor number three, Justin Tristan Manlo. He's riding his brokeback beauty named Inda Closet. He'll braid your hair, watch all the rom-coms, and give you all the girls' nights you need while he hangs out with Steven. Buckle Bunny Bachelor number four, Titus Jeans, riding Sophie Cated Nuts. His wranglers have strangled his baby juice. His britches have pancaked his daddy batter. But he is open to adoption. Buckle Bunny Bachelor number five from Berkeley, California, Morgan Control. He's riding Gimme Mo Granola. He's our liberal vegan cowboy with a kale chip on his shoulder. No more need to flog that dolphin. He's gonna release your walrus. He'll free your tuna fish and then make you the best Beyond Burger of your life. Buckle Bunny Bachelor number six recently moved from Bluff, Alaska to Coward, South Carolina. He's Colin Hissex. He's a three-time cheater riding his horse, Micro Cheatin'. But don't worry, ladies. He promises his promiscuous days are gone -eria. Buckle Bunny Bachelor number seven, Brandon Yobottom. He's our three-time champion from Superior, Wyoming. Today he's riding his Philly submissive Sally, and he likes to wear the Wranglers in the relationship. Have dinner on the table at five, bake him a cake, make him lots of babies, and then take half his money and run off with Ted. And finally, Buckle Bunny Bachelor number eight, Cody Pendant. His horse Pebble Pleaser is out sick, so today he's riding Jelly C. He'll trade his penis for your happiness. You might as well tie a rope around his nuts and ride him into Sunday. He'll bend over backwards for his gal. 
write down in the comments which bachelor you would choose. And now for our very Hunger Games halftime show, Pussy on Fire. We're practicing for the big show. Gonna do a picnic for my dad's company and we're gonna do a little karaoke. I'm just gonna interpretive dance while you're singing your part. And in the bad times I fear myself. If you made it this far in the video, write Buckle Bunny down in the comments. Tomorrow on Girl vs. Van, I fall in love with the cutest puppy. Pick cherries in Montana, play with the cutest puppy in the whole wide world, hang out on the farm, hit on cute kayaking boys on the lake. Oh, and did I mention cute puppies? Lots and lots of cute puppies. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you loved it, share it with your friends. See you tomorrow.